Hey guys, Jessica Damu here, and today I'm showing off my GM Flight Type. This is a custom I made, and I hope to use it in stunt motion animation and get them father a piece. Here I have my uh, spinal style display stand. You can see the GM is flying. Used a lot of different uh, UC things for it, but also some non UC. There's some Seed and G Gundam mixed in. It was pretty fun to build. I kind of went for a black and orange scheme. Uh, wanted to do my recoloring. That way the color wouldn't scratch off. I may add some white here in the torso later on, but I'm not sure. The black kind of changes it up a bit. It's an experimental unit. And I hope to uh, have two pilots talking when Jaburo gets attacked and one of them just calls dibs and jumps in it and uh, you know, does some really cool battling. So the GUF flight type, uh, MS074H or something, I can't remember. H4, yeah. The GUF flight type, uh, not the version you see in OHMS team, but a predecessor to it was on its final test and then mysteriously exploded. I'm guessing that was the Federation, and with that stolen technology, having sabotaged the Goof Flight project, hopefully permanently, but not successfully, um, they built this. So it has the upper torso of the GM Custom, and the front, the front torso is actually the rear of it. We have Alex Arms, so it has those Alex guns in its forearms, which means, you know, it, it doesn't have to carry a big heavy rifle or anything like that. It can just kind of fly around and... You know, just firing from its forearm guns. This is the uh, old Gundam Zaras GM. That's where the head is from. It's made out of a Strike mobile suit. So it's a smaller head than usual, but has some head Vulcans. The side skirt and I think the front skirt, or the front cod piece come from the GP-01. Full burning, as do the legs, which have been cut to look more like GM legs, and its little uh, armor flaps have been cut to fit better. So GM custom feet. They've been modified to have three boosters instead of two. The, uh, this is where we start getting into the pricey parts. Uh, for the record, I didn't dismantle figures for these parts. I simply used uh, parts from figures I'd already dismantled for other customs. So Most of this guy was actually built out of scraps. So our shoulders are um, red frame astray. Again, did not destroy a perfectly good red frame. I had a spare that could not be repaired. And so I thought, oh, that, those kind of have vents on the back. That's pretty cool. This back skirt is from the Hazel. When I made my GM Quell. These wings are from the Goof Ignited. From when I made the uh, Goof S type. The big giant booster is a GPO one two, GPO two uh, thruster from its shoulder, and the backpack, the the main part of the backpack really, is Shadow Gunnam's backpack. Uh, consistent color that I could recolor things so that they matched each other was black. That's why black became a major part of the figure. Though, I will. I'm starting to notice a pattern that, you know, I've got my Black Death Forces GMs I'm working on, and this guy, and Mason's special unit over here, and the Oxo Gundam. I apparently like dark colors on my customs, and I'm getting a way bit too consistent in that. Yeah, I realize that with this custom. But, you know, I think blue would have looked pretty bad, really, and... I didn't want to paint it white. That wasn't really an option. So some cool things about its articulation here. This is strike upper legs, and there's a specific reason for that, which these just happen to fit together. My wife ended up cutting the knees, so they fit. 
cool thing about the recoloring. Uh, feet, you know, ball joint. But the torso is on a ball joint. I have, like, 20 strike Gundams in my parts bin. 20 of them. And I suppose they could be sold, but they wouldn't have much in the line of weapons. And, you know, I, I, they have double-jointed arms, and I found ways to use that in the ground-type Gundams. And I figured out how to turn them into GM heads, sort of. They're special, but they're cool. But they're smaller than your standard UC stuff. But they have these ball-jointed torsos. I've never been able to use it, but I have now. I've been practicing on ground-type Gundams, which I've made into version 2. So this was not ultimate super perfect. In fact, it looks like if I'd cut this in there... Um, Right there, it would have had more flexibility even. But, uh, a little late for that. That's alright, though. So, he's ball-jointed in the waist, and I really like that. He doesn't have any double-jointedness or anything like that. It's, it's a very basic figure. But the backpack can move this way and this way. And the wings can spread out. The wings help keep it balanced and things like that. And they can also fold up, if I can remember the exact way how. They go out like this. Yeah. That way, our GM can actually walk around and, you know, move underground at Jaburo. Kind of thing like that. So, it's not really well equipped. For, for ground combat. It's very much for full flight. Its full flight time would be limited, but, uh, you know, so was the goof flight type. Ideally, if this unit had been mass produced, which it doesn't, um, then this backpack would have been ejectable. You know, just probably this whole part would have just. Which would have been a smart thing to do, but I didn't really plan for that when I was designing it. And I'm, I'm very happy with the figure, so there's no real need to, to change that. It has a specific purpose in animation to shoot down Xeon mobile suits as they're dropping from a gal, you know, at Jabrow. And it's going to be flying, firing these, these arm guns, just shooting them out of the air. And uh, this unit will get shot down then also and rescued by probably Mason. I don't know if he will have his ground-type GM or not, but uh, my plans on rescuing the girl who will be inside this suit. There's a character who hasn't been revealed yet. At least those are my loose plans. It takes so long to make these episodes that a lot changes, but, you know, it's fun. It's fun. Let me know what you think of the Goof Flight type. I like him. I, uh, I even like his orange color scheme. It's, it's all because he's a prototype. Well, I hope you enjoyed the review. Make sure to like, favorite, and subscribe as I post a new toy review uh, just about every other day. And uh, check out my eBay store. There's a link down below in the morning for you, and sometimes the things I review end up there. But not this one, because I like it. See you guys later.